In this video, we're going to look at solving for x when we have a sum of logs. So in this case, we have log base 2 of x plus log base 2 of x minus 2 equals 3. Now, because those logs have the same base, we can use the fact that we have the sum of two logs and write it as the product in a single log. So log base 2 of x times x minus 2. And uh, those are both in this same log equals 3. Now we can rewrite this as an exponential. The base to the exponent, so 2 to the 3 equals what we're taking the log of. So x times x minus 2. So here's the equation we need to solve to finish this. So 2 cubed is 8 equals x squared minus 2x. So we're going to have a quadratic, so let's get it equal to 0. So we have 0 equals, subtract 8 from both sides, x squared minus 2x minus 8. So let's see what our two solutions are. This one, it turns out, will factor. If it doesn't, you can use the quadratic formula. This factors into x minus 4 times x plus 2, which gives us two solutions. It gives us x equals 4 and x equals negative 2. Now, there's one last step you have to do when you solve an equation like this. Because we turn this into an exponential function, we lose the domain restrictions on logs. Remember, you cannot take log of 0 or a negative number, so we need to check our answers to make sure that they're okay. So x equals 4, that's okay, and 4 minus 2 is 2, that's okay. So that checks out, but look what happens when we use negative 2. That's not in the domain of log base 2 of x. It's also not in the domain of log base 2 of x minus 2. So we want to make sure we eliminate that solution and our only solution that actually works is x equals 4. So always make sure to check your answers.